Hey everyone, so I have to start this video by first apologizing a little bit. Uh, a couple videos ago, just yesterday, I released a video talking about the update to the Nintendo Creators Program and how it's going to impact us and how Nintendo is essentially trying to stop streaming on YouTube. They're trying to prevent people from streaming. Now, in the video itself, I clarified many, many times that this only applied to the Creators Program, but what I didn't specify, because I didn't know at the time, was how deep this goes and or what the clarification is. So I'm going to apologize right now because this information I'm about to present to you right now, right now today, was available yesterday, but because I was so caught up in the email itself, that literal email Nintendo sent to me personally, uh, I kind of overlooked it. Even when I went to the FAQ uh, you know, area of the site, the guide site on the Nintendo Creators Program, I didn't see this initially. Uh, because I didn't, I, I guess I looked in the wrong section. So, here is the full, uh, full report, I guess, from Nintendo on what's happening with streaming on YouTube and what Nintendo themselves actually suggest people do if this is a problem. So, it says, live streaming on YouTube falls outside of the scope of the Nintendo Creators Program. Exactly what we said yesterday. You cannot broadcast content on YouTube Live from the account you have registered to the Nintendo Creators Program. Again, what we said yesterday. However, here's the extra bits. If you plan to broadcast content on YouTube Live, you have a couple of options. First, you can broadcast content on YouTube Live from a channel that is not registered to the Nintendo Creators Program. Or, you can cancel your channel's registration to the Nintendo Creators Program and instead register your videos containing Nintendo's IP to the program separately. Videos which had previously been registered through your channel would need to be re-registered individually. And all I can really say to that is... Awesome. It's not as bad as I feared and things are actually a lot better, but still not great. Um, so what Nintendo is saying is if you are registered to the Nintendo Creators Program, make a separate account and you can still live stream that. So they're not preventing all live streaming on YouTube. They're not even preventing all people who want to make Nintendo content from doing live streaming. The only channels that are affected by this, and there are only a, a very few of these channels that exist, mostly really small YouTubers, like way smaller than us are people who have, have their entire channel invested into the Nintendo Creators Program. And there's not a lot of people that have done that, because in order to do that, uh, yes, they take less revenue from your videos. I think right now it's like a 40% cut. Like if I submit uh, an individual video to the Nintendo Creators Program, they take 40%. If I was a full member of the Nintendo Creators Program, you know, they'd only take 30%. Then they take 30% of every video I make, including videos that don't have like Nintendo game footage in it or any other original content I may do, you know, like my Outside the Box series or Prime Comments. Um, you know, that's very much not something that I want Nintendo taking a cut from. Uh, but yeah, it's it's basically means that my channel is okay. I can live stream Nintendo games on my channel, which is awesome, 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 awesome. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that's what I'm going to do moving forward. So let me, let me clarify what this means for us. It means that yes, we can live stream. Uh, very few channels are going to be affected by this rule change. It might almost be uh, why Nintendo's like intentionally hurting channels uh, and intentionally telling people, hey, just like opt out of the creators program. Um, it, it's almost an admittance that Nintendo uh, screwed up, that the creators program sucks. Why they're implementing a new restriction into the creators program is beyond me. I, I don't get it. I, I have no idea why they do it. But it sounds like I can still submit videos individually to them and still live stream. However, that doesn't have anything to do with Nintendo's general policies on content ID. They're still going to claim a bunch of stuff. They're still going to claim every single live stream we do. Uh, so here is what we're going to do. And this is what, this almost was a wake up call to me as someone who you know is new to the live streaming game when it comes to streaming video games. 
we are going to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time moving forward. I'm going to keep encouraging people to follow us on Twitch for the live streams. Uh, one, because it helps support us better. Two, Twitch is a more flexible platform for live streams. And three, I don't trust Nintendo. Uh, while this policy right now only affects people who are fully invested in the creators program and Nintendo themselves give you options for you to still live stream, uh, I don't trust Nintendo to not eventually blanket lock live streams uh, for Nintendo games. And I say that because they have no problem claiming and blocking videos uh, if they need to that have Nintendo game footage in them in the first place. So I don't trust Nintendo. I think the only reason they don't have the supply into people outside of the creators program is because YouTube does not currently have a tool in place for Nintendo to automate that process. So for Nintendo to shut down live streams, they would have to be on YouTube 24-7 with hundreds and hundreds of staff watching all the live stream feeds, waiting for a Nintendo live stream to pop up, and then you know doing a strike against that channel. And it's just way too much effort and way too costly for Nintendo to do that. The whole reason that this issue even exists with Nintendo Content ID claiming videos and why it doesn't happen on any other platform is because YouTube has an automated Content ID process. So as soon as that automated Content ID process can be applied to live streams, Nintendo will likely use that Content ID to shut down live streams or claim them or whatever the case may be. So while Nintendo is not going after live streams right now, while they might never be able to go after live streams, I'm going to play it safe. So we're still going to stream to you directly on YouTube like we always have. We're still going to stream on Twitch. In fact, we're going to be streaming on Twitch every single stream we do. However, uh, I still want you guys to head on over to Twitch. You can watch us on whatever platform you prefer, and that makes me happy. That means we're going to have more viewership, uh, and I don't have to leave our home base for you to get all of our content. That was always one of my stipulations in being a content creator, is I like having all of my video content on one video platform. That's why I like live streaming on YouTube because you guys are already here. You don't have to go somewhere else. But I still want people who are, are okay doing it to follow us over on Twitch. Go over there, do your thing because it really helps me out in the future because again, I'm not putting my faith in Nintendo to not make this streaming policy worse on YouTube once YouTube and Google create the tools to make it possible. And I think those tools are going to exist one day uh, and that this domino is the first chip to fall um, in in the streaming sphere for Nintendo. I, I think they really want I have total control over how their games are presented on the internet, period. Uh, so, yeah, that's really it. And I, I apologize greatly for not clarifying this yesterday. I literally did not have this information until some point today. I watched a few other reactions, some videos, watched a Spawn Wave video. Uh, I'll link down to his video down in the description that really helped clarify things. I watched a video by HMK who didn't really clarify this far into it. Uh, but yeah, it, in general, I'm sorry. I, I, I am deeply sorry uh, if I misrepresented what Nintendo is doing. I still think what they're doing is crap. I think if you are someone that for some reason fully invested into the Nintendo Creators Program, uh, that you're being punished the most, like the people who are conforming to what Nintendo wants you to do the most are the ones being hurt the most. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, people like me who are, are kind of only using the Nintendo Creators Program, submitting individual videos, uh, doing it because we're kind of forced into having to do it. And I understand there's plenty of you out there that think I have no right to make money off of Nintendo's content. Uh, and I don't know why I air quoted that, but there's people who think that uh, obviously, you know, when, when YouTubers are making uh, videos that uh, have game footage in it that, you know, we're stealing or something. I, I don't get it. Um, I bought the games. I bought the equipment to record the games. Um, it's not like uh, it's not like I just magically have this footage up there, especially from Switch. Uh, Switch does not have any internal way to stream or record footage. You have to buy extra equipment. You have to buy the Switch in the first place. Um, I own all the products that I'm creating the content with. Um, and I personally don't view using game footage uh, as really being that different than uh, using my computer to live stream. I own all the components in it. I shouldn't have to uh, pay NVIDIA or MSI or Intel uh, a portion of my uh, money that I make on live streams because I'm using their products to make the live stream happen. That doesn't make sense. Uh, same thing with Nintendo. Like, yeah, I'm streaming your game, making content out of your game, but I also own that copy of the game. 
Um, I'm not distributing it for free and doing all this illegal stuff. So, anyways, I don't know. That's a conversation, I think, for a different day. But, yeah, I'm happy. I'm thrilled. We're going to be streaming still on YouTube and Twitch. Still, go follow us on Twitch. Uh, there are some unique features we have running on Twitch right now uh, that are Twitch exclusive. There's, like, coins you can earn for watch time, and you can play games. Uh, and there'll be polls that'll run that'll be Twitch exclusive. Uh, the, I don't know. I don't think the poll will appear in the general stream on YouTube. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't ran one yet. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. It is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time in terms of diversifying where our videos come from. But at the same point, mm, I don't think I would have did this uh, had I, I not had this fear of Nintendo taking away my ability to live stream on YouTube eventually. Again, this feels like they threw the first stone. There's more to come. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rufflejans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, I get it. Dislike that video. Subscribe for more content like this. And hey, I'll try to be sure in the future to gather the full details before making my video on the topic. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.